Hey guys, uh, this is Russ Armstrong here. I'm just showing you a brief video on what you need to do if you are a Climber member and are utilizing your autoresponder tied to the digital altitude system, but you are going to um, utilize your um, own capture page. So in other words, you're not gonna use this link here, the aspire.me uh, capture page one, you're gonna send people through uh, your own funnel, whether it's like OSP, uh, Mac Mills funnel, or uh, you've created your own funnel, there's a change you need to make in your list because right now, all the links that are built inside the follow-up series are, are tied to this, um, this aspire.me link. So if you're not using it, the internal links will not uh, record to you. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do. So the first thing you wanna do is, uh, actually the first thing you wanna do is go over here and you're gonna grab, and actually I just, I just went ahead and just copied my links here. So what you're gonna do is, I just copied down my links here. Let me enlarge this for you. So here is your, your link, um, either to the step one, etc. What you're gonna do is just copy the question mark and over to your affiliate link to the equal sign. Now I've tagged mine because, and that's a different video on why it's important to tag so you know where the business is coming from. So I have an AWeber list, so it's AWeber email follow-up. So at least I know if someone came in that way, they came in through my follow-up series. So you're going to copy that, all right? Um, with or without a tag, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, again, my AWeber. You would do the same thing and get response. You would open up the email. Uh, so you would go up to the follow-up series, and those are the 18-day follow-up series. You would go to the email, and the first thing you want to do is you are going to go, and, and get response may look a little bit different on the editing than AWeber does. So again, you're just going to have to visualize it if you're working with get response. But you're gonna grab your link here. Now this one here is a YouTube link. So we don't have to do anything to this link. So we're gonna keep it as it is and scroll down the email a little bit further. And you then just wanna open up every single link that is um, here, okay? So open up every single link and see what is attached to the link itself. Now that one, I'm not sure if that's actually a link and yeah, it looks like it's a link so let's go to here then and see if we can open up that link okay so this one here is also um, a YouTube link so we don't want to change that um, I believe this next one then may be a YouTube link as well nope okay so it looks like it's just all one link but if you go down here and again you got to go through each and every uh, email directly okay so hopefully this is uh, making sense to you here but if you go here and again you have to highlight the link and only where it's underlined you're gonna click on the link there and here is my link so it's uh, it's going to the step one page but it says custom referral now if you again were using the aspire.me link uh, for the original capture page then all of these links will work and they'll still be tagged to you. But if you're coming into this without using that link, you need to go in and put in your affiliate link. So what I copied here, so you're gonna backspace or, or delete up to where it says the page name, so it's the step one, and then you're going to paste your affiliate link in here. So it's the, it's the question mark, DA equals your affiliate link. And again, I have put a tag on the end of it. Now you'll see here that it says it's still not a workable link because the protocol has been broken. So I need to go back up here, click it to HTTP, and I get the green, um, I get the green check mark which says it's a valid link. So now when someone clicks on this, it's going to go and take them still to the step one page, which it would have taken them there originally, but now my affiliate link is back attached to it, so I get credit. Okay, so if, you, if you're if you not coming in on the digital altitude capture page at the aspire.me capture page, this, this link right here, all right, this aspire.me capture page, then you need to go in and change these links, 
Otherwise, if someone clicks on this link here, it's going to take them to the page they want to go to, but you're not going to get the credit for it. So this is critical. You've got to go in and do it. All right. But this is only for people using a different page they're bringing people in on. Okay. So hopefully you understand that. Talk to your coach if you don't, um, but they can explain it a little bit more. Okay. So you're going to change that link. Then you're going to go down. You're going to look at the next one. And again, only highlight where the link is. Open up your link. Here we go again. So we're going to delete this out. And we're going to paste it in. And then we got to change that protocol back to HTTP. And again, I'm not as familiar with GetResponse, whether that will automatically change the protocol or not. But you just want to make sure, I believe with theirs, they even have, they have something that indicates, okay, that's a valid link now. So just, you know, follow the instructions through GetResponse. But the key is you're putting your affiliate link back in there. And uh, then here to the testimonials, if you look at these, all right, so I go and I open up I open up the link here. Now you'll see it goes to testimonials, but there's still my custom link in here. So what I want to do is back off, put in my affiliate link. Again, change the protocol again, back to HTTP. And it should give me Well, it should. All right, and sometimes if you have an issue with that, go back and do it again. And this may be a broken link. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it. If it's not saying it's a valid link, then, um, all right, so it's saying now that, well, it's saying, it was saying it was. Let's change that back to HTTP. There we go, we got a green link. Sometimes you gotta do it once or twice just to make it work, okay? Um, so again, I'm gonna go back down to this one here. Now make sure to go, you you only highlight what the link is because if you don't, it's not gonna work correctly, okay? So this one goes to the members results page and I want to paste my affiliate link in there, change the protocol and it gives me a green check mark. So I'm good there. So once I've finished going through the entire page, then I'm gonna save and exit. And then that should be good to go. You're, you're fine at that point. Nothing else needs to be done with this email. Um, then you go down to the, to the third one and you gotta do this with all 18 emails, okay? Um, otherwise the links will not work correctly. Uh, well, they'll work. The people will get to the pages they need to, but the problem with it is, is you're not going to get the credit for it. So um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to open up the link. Again, here it is, custom referral. So it's going to the step one page. I just delete this custom link out of there, paste my affiliate link in there, change my protocol, and I should get the green check mark. because I'm doing a recording too, sometimes this slows down a little bit. And again, sometimes you do this, so I'm just gonna click okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up again and make sure I get. All right, let me can. Let's see here. And sometimes you just got to work with it a little bit here. Let's just make that an okay and let's do it again. Just open it up. And sometimes things, oops, sometimes things, and make sure you don't delete out that uh, backslash there. But I'm gonna go with okay on that one. I know that'll work. So uh, just again, go back through all of your links here, open them up and change that 
uh, custom referral out of there, okay? And of course, AWeber's giving me a little bit of grief here. So anyway, hopefully you guys understand um, what needs to be done there. Uh, so you're going to um, just go ahead and click OK. Go through, again, each and every link. So see, if I highlight this beyond the link, I click on it, it shows no link there. Okay, it's, it's not saying there's a link there. So I want to go to what the active link is and just uh, highlight just directly where the active link is. And then we're gonna go ahead and just paste that in there, HTTP, and I'm gonna click OK, all right? And then again, doing the same thing with the testimonials, going back in, making sure your affiliate link is there. Paste that in. Make sure you put it back in the HTTP and click OK. All right, and last one here on this page. And paste it in, HTTP. All right, so hopefully you guys get an understanding as to how that works, then click on Save and Exit and then move on to the next email, okay? So you have 18 emails that you gotta go through. Check every single link, make sure that you're adding in your affiliate link to it, okay? So hopefully that helps you out there, guys. Um, if uh, you have any questions, just reach out to, uh, to me or to your coaches and uh, they will help you out further. So thanks a lot, hopefully this uh, video was helpful.